Hello everyone, welcome back to another Skyblock video. I have played this game so much over the past few days, I have honestly not stopped. I think this is the only Roblox game I have actually played other than Adopt Me yesterday with Kane. But today, we've been talking about the like most overpowered hidden crop that you wouldn't even expect in this game to earn you the most money very, very quickly. And as you can see, it can actually earn you millions. Me and my friend Declan currently have millions because of this one crop. So let's jump into the video for today. It is only fair that we are starting off in the hub for this because my farm is kind of really different from the last time you guys may have actually seen it. Uh, <laughs> I have extended it out, I have changed a few crops around, and there's actually two crops that we will be comparing today. Well, technically three, but one's not really a crop because people are kind of asking, asking, oh my goodness, asking which crop is the best to use for this game. And as you can see, we currently have multiple different crops. We obviously have wheat, carrot, tomato, berries, and onions. And I do have quite a few in my backpack. And I did actually sell quite a lot of them before I started this recording as well. Just to show you guys, I do have a million. It has actually helped me get to a million. And how to get you guys money very very quickly in this game obviously in the last video i actually talked about auto farms and how you can make your farms automated which is actually amazing because <laughs> i cannot sit there and harvest every single crop individually it is just way too hard so let's head to my island because a lot has changed and obviously you will see i have changed my storage around there are now two stories to my smeltery as you can see we have more smelters we have more things going through collecting stone iron and coal but as you can see my berry farm has now extended and that over there is for a video tomorrow and we now have my farm <laughs> Okay, so you can probably see which crop I am currently favoring right now because it's absolutely crazy. We have a ton of crops and I think it's really fair that we harvest them as we go because this is obviously like the easiest way to do them as we're explaining things because it does get a little bit laggy when things do get backed up on the conveyor belts. So as you can see, I have a ton of carrots and a ton of onions. Obviously, onions do sell for the most at 35 and carrots actually sell for 25 per carrot. But the growing rate is very different. The onions do take a lot longer to actually grow compared to the carrot, whereas you can get two carrots in the span of one onion, which is actually really helpful, especially like when you're trying to do the math and obviously it's only 10 coins less, so we have a lot to go over in today. So as you can see, I currently have a massive carrot farm and I will say carrots are the best crop in the game to farm. And as you can see, my friend Declan, who is soft trap in game, currently has 2.1 million and he has a massive carrot farm that we will be seeing tomorrow and also shout out to pro noob 1337xd for giving me 109,000 coins which is absolutely insane thank you so much for that um but i've been saving and i want to extend this farm i wanted to make it bigger i wanted to do something different with it but then i realized They'll despawn before they actually get to the end of the conveyor belt. I am so lucky I timed it correctly. The carrots from this side of the conveyor belt will actually make it to my industrial chest right before they do respawn. So it is like the perfect size for the farm. I think it's about like 40, like max 60 long. I haven't exactly counted, but as you can see, I have a lot of totems, a lot of carrot seeds, a lot of conveyor belts, which took a lot of iron and coal. Oh my goodness. I went through over... 10,000 iron just to get like this set up and I've had a lot of conveyor sessions I used to have just these three farms which used to be these as carrots and then that over there as obviously onions but now I have branched out to make this all onions because onions are still a good profit in the end it's good to have both of the farms if you can you can see a little bit of lag I am actually getting so we're gonna turn down the graphics quality oh my goodness I didn't realize how laggy it got but we also have the berries so we currently have carrots selling for 25, onions selling for 35, and berries here sell for 30. But the thing is you can't buy a berry seeds, which makes these a lot more rare because you actually have to collect these crops to actually get the berry seeds. And I'm actually really fortunate. I keep getting at least one to two berry seeds per harvest. So I keep expanding it very, very fast. So the larger your berry farm is, obviously like the longer that it goes. And I see Declan placed flowers instead of the berry bushes down on the side there. And oh, you're giving me a berry seed. Thank you. We have 21 to put down today as well. Obviously Skyblock is a hard thing to play if you have not played it before. But as I said, there are a lot of doofers on here and a lot of things making everything go down in price. See, we just got our second seed in this harvest alone. So 
I'm I'm really going towards the carrots for this mainly because of the growing rate and I know that my friends have actually done the math on this and that is why they have massive carrot farms so let's just quickly put down all of these berry seeds because every single berry obviously is going to count towards something and I'm not even going to take those flowers I'm just going to leave those flowers there for now that can be the last berries placed down over there might as well because we have a lot of these seeds to go on and there we go 20 something new bushes and obviously as you can see that's a, like a little secret over there do not worry about that for now because that is for tomorrow's video but we're gonna go check out my friend's farm and show you exactly what he is doing over there with his farm so this is going to be the second layer keep in mind this is his layout currently for the second layer of his carrots and he has one conveyor belt i will highly suggest using one conveyor belt system and one chest if you can actually click it all the time because just sitting here and clicking on the one chest he gets like what 25 or something carrots every few seconds which is absolutely crazy <laughs> he can sit here and watch one episode of a show and get like what a thousand carrots or something like that which is insane like look at the production rate that this farm actually has and he just sits here and clicks on the chest all of the time that's how he has gotten to 2.1 million so so far so this crop right here carrots kind of a secret blessing in disguise if you guys want to put it that way because you can make so much more money with it and obviously carrots aren't actually that expensive we head back to the spawn island you'll actually see what i mean because obviously we have a lot of things that go along with buying seeds and obviously buying totems to automate your farms because you're not going to want to harvest all those carrots trust me harvesting them all would be an absolute nightmare so for example we we'll go to the totems first and you can see there is a clear difference between the tomato and the carrots and the onion so you have the carrot totem for six thousand coins each whereas the onion is eight thousand coins each so it's a two thousand coin difference and obviously you can buy more carrot totems than you would onion totems but then we also have the seeds carrot seeds you can buy for 500 so so cheap and then onions are two thousand per seed obviously i did waste a lot of money getting a lot of onions because i thought at first that obviously selling the crop with like the highest value would just be like the best no it's not it's actually one of the lower ones which is actually really really surprising and obviously we have a ton to sell in my backpack so so oh i just sold one let's sell these onions sell these berries but let's see we currently have 5,138 carrots, and that's going to sell for an amazing 128,450 gold. And we're going to get that to 1.1 million now. Look at how much coins we have just from carrot farms alone. I was at Declan's farm for, what, one hour, two hours max? And I got over 2,000 carrots just within, like, the first few bits like it was absolutely crazy i already had some carrots on me but now we're at like 3,000 carrots only been like two hours maximum it's a really good production rate and i was actually missing some because i was going back and forth between my farm and his farm to collect both of our crops because obviously i want to collect mine too at the same time so then i can get double the money and it was just hard and i will say there's a little cheat thing so obviously you can see that i have to come over here and harvest my crops so for example if i only had the one chest i would love that i should probably filter it all into one chest at one point in time but it does take a lot of effort to put it into one chest like just doing this over here took me like eight to nine hours of work and then that we're not even talking about that yet that'll be tomorrow's video you guys will see that tomorrow do not worry about that and i'm gonna keep mentioning it because we're doing an infinite farm and you guys will not be able to you guys will not believe what that is actually going to be like so as we're gonna head back to declan's island because i'm gonna show you a little cheaty thing obviously for what you guys can do so here we are at his farm and this is his chest obviously i can harvest his chest because i have build perms on here because i was collecting them for the past few hours while he's been building like he's out of layer but you can actually keep your inventory open so for example you keep your inventory open like this and you can actually go through the portals so obviously if i want to go check on the production of my farm i can have declans up here on my screen as it stays on your screen when you teleport this is the hard world this is still his chest getting his same carrots in place and obviously i'm now at my farm this is not his this is my farm and obviously as you can see I, I'm not in a chest, I'm free to run around, I have nothing on, but obviously if I switch out of it, I can do that, but I can actually collect his carrots while I'm still on my island, and obviously if I switch chests, it will take it away from my screen, but it is really a good thing, thing for me to do, like going back and forth, seeing which ones are full to go and restock in my inventory full of carrots and onions, but 
it's a cute little thing that I have noticed in this game, but I will say a few weird things are happening around Skyblock right now, and I'm trying to see if I can get them fixed. As I said, Zeph is one of the owners, and he's one of my friends, so I'm trying to sh like show him every single bug that I have been getting, but in a video in a few days, you guys will see. I had the biggest bug here in Skyblock, which actually caused things that I could not help, and I'm just gonna show you a little bit of what that bug is, because it's absolutely crazy. So we're going to get my axe out for this one. So I, I've been playing this since the day of release, basically almost kind of, I think it was like a day late, but I played. And then one day it's like, I was trying to break stuff and it was appearing twice. And I'm like, why is that a thing? So this is like a little preview. So obviously it just gave me two wood for one. That is the bug. I don't know why or how it happened, but it only seemed to happen to my island. And oh my goodness, I don't know how to put this back. Oh my goodness. But yes, it's a very, very weird bug that it happened. I'm not sure why that bug happened, how it happened, or what it exactly affected. But I will go over that in an entirely new video within the next few days. So please keep an eye out for that. But yeah, what do you guys think of this? What is your favorite crop to harvest? I will say 100% mine is carrots because it can just earn you millions and millions of dollars so, so quickly. Like we can sit here literally for a day and get a million in cash, which is absolutely crazy. Like, thank you so much, Declan and Andrew, for showing me this. I would not have honestly, like, done carrots originally if you guys hadn't shown me i probably would have stuck with onions but you guys are a lifesaver and showed me that carrots are the way to go but that is the best hidden secret crop to have for here like that's absolutely crazy and i love it so much so yeah if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel also hit the notification bell to be notified every single time i post a video or start a stream obviously i do have the giveaway currently going away for like two industrial smelters i probably will be adding to that number since i've gotten quite a few more since then so please make sure to pay attention within the next few years but i will be dropping around hundreds of thousands of cash to you guys in public servers as well within the next few days so keep out keep an eye out for me in public servers for some cash in game but yeah i hope you guys have a lovely day or night if you guys may be in the world and i'll see you guys in the next video or stream because i'm gonna go hide in my berry bush and get millions of dollars now bye guys